Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, January the 12th. This is going to be a video for sixth grade, working through our daily math. So we're on week 15, days one and two today. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Um, number one. So again, we're working with adding two decimal values together. We need to probably write that problem vertically. Um, so 85.49 can go on the top with the other uh, number down below. We need to make sure we keep track of where our decimal point should go when we are adding. Um, for number two, we have two different things. So one of them is going to be if we start with seven ninths and then add one third, and then if we start with seven ninths and then we take away a third. Keep in mind that we need to find an equivalent fraction uh, for our one third that gives us parts over nine so that we can go ahead and work those problems. If you end up with something larger than a whole number, please put that as a mixed number. So one and however many ninths um, we would end up with or reduce if uh, you have the option to do that. Number three, use a factor tree. So our factor tree um, would start with 72. And then we can go ahead and draw our branches off like this. And we can think of two numbers that we can multiply together to get to 72. And then we keep going until the only thing that we have left are prime numbers. So just as a reminder about how that works. Um, and then it says, write the prime, write the prime factorization using exponents. So that is an extra wrinkle. So once we are done, Let's say, for instance, that I started with 25. So I am going to do this out to the side. I'm going to move this page over. And let's say I wanted to do 25. So 25 would give us 5 times 5. Both of those are prime numbers. To write the prime factorization for that, I would write it as 5 squared. So since we are working with an even number, and I normally tell you you can go ahead and do 2 times whatever, you're probably going to be able to do that more than once. So two is going to be one of the prime factors. And then if we have, let's say, three or four of those, then the part where you're writing out the twos, instead of writing um, two and then two again and then two again and two again, we would write it as two to the however many of power as we have twos in our uh, prime factorization tree and then or factor tree. And then we can uh, use that to help us with the answer. So one little wrinkle that we haven't done before um, when we were working out of our Go Math book on that. Uh, number four, what are the coordinates? So um, assume that every single one of these is worth one because they didn't label it. And so again, our x value is the distance to the left or right from center. So if we're going to the left, we're going into negative values for x. Positive values are going up for y. So the distance up here would be a positive number. The distance down here would be a negative number. So keep those things in mind. Number five, Ben walks d dogs per day. His brother Bill walks twice as many. How many dogs does Bill walk per day? And then we want to figure that out um, by representing one of these three options. So one of these three options says that Bill um, does twice as many per day. Uh, down to the bottom, that is really odd. I don't know why we just all of a sudden randomly do um, a very small subtraction problem, I guess, just to make sure that you're staying honest. So let's go ahead and write those out vertically. Um, and then you can go ahead and subtract. You almost could use mental math uh, to find the answer to that, but I would not recommend that. Uh, number two, we need to regroup. So it's written in the way that I would ask you to write it. Keep in mind what we need to do. If we take away a whole number, the amount that we would add up here on the top to represent the number of parts in that whole number plus what we already had. Um, and then we can go ahead and subtract. Number three, uh, we want to figure out uh, is the value of negative six greater than, less than, or equal to this? Is this one greater than, less than, or equal to this? And, and so forth. Um, number four, what is the place value amount of the two in this particular number? 
and they want you to write that in word form. So we are going to have to what? And number five, at this particular uh, location, uh, looks sounds like a grocery store, Charlotte can buy three candy bars for 99 cents. At another one, she can buy four candy bars for $1.25, which store has the better buy? So we can take our number of candy bars and the price, divide the price by the number of candy bars for both of those, which one gives us the smaller amount that we would pay per candy bar. We have done this before uh, when we were working with unit rates. So that concludes all of our problems for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Hope you have a great day. And